Moving this nuke yard or package yard, whatever you'd want to call it. This is the Italians I got uh, beginning of June, so a month ago. These have been going for about a month. I'm moving them into some later canola. Just getting onto that foundation. So I don't expect these colonies to be big production colonies. I expect them to act as nukes. So I'm going to put them in, well, they've been pretty much treated as nukes right as I got them established here. So they will be treated as nukes throughout the honey flow. Whoa. That is right full of larva. That's a beautiful frame. Filled up with honey. This side is right full of eggs. Rimmed with honey. The nest is about this big. Get another hatch and I'll get these bees up in the... I'll be coming around this week with honey boxes to slap up on top and have it ready for them whenever they feel like wandering up top to give me some honey to extract. Here's a nice frame of brood. Larvae pushed right out, so she's dominating this nest. She's pushing it out as she can. And another one. This is, where's my son? Yeah, young larvae working all the way out. So she's working out like that. She's pushing the nest out this way. Front of the hive is on this side. Kind of like that. This is a solid, heavy frame of brood. Beautiful. Just about to emerge. So by the next, you know, I bet you by midweek, this whole frame will be wandering around as baby bees. Push those foragers out to the field. Another frame. Pushed back by nectar a little bit. And this one too. It's kind of pushing the nectar flow is on. There's pressure. These are these will be emerged by the end of next week. So they're so she's on this side pushing it out. This side's emerging and they're backfilling. So they gotta start pushing it up. But we need population to be able to do that. Pollen, nectar back filling, lots of young bees. Ooh, that's a beautiful frame. There she is. Kind of in the shade here. You can't miss that dot. She did a nice little job. Beautiful frame of brood. Ooh, this next frame's not so pretty. Well, that side's all right. That side's not much to look at. We built this wax a little while ago. It was a little bit brittle. This is fresh stuff all the way around it. Redo.
These are my other Italians. That I put into sixes instead of the single boxes. Just want to see how they're working up. I, actually, <clears throat> I had Carrie put two boxes up on top. They should be staged exactly the same as the colony that I just inspected. Boy, they're sure busy. It's no wonder. Our canola looks absolutely fantastic. Show me what you got. Look at that. Let's just take a peek here. This is the power of the six. These bees are up. There's no storage up here, but they're actively cleaning. Let's see if we have any nectar storage. Yeah, we have some deposits. They are just moving up here. We've got some weight here actually, yeah. Should put them all into sixes. Look at this. Before we put these boxes on, it was last week. Actually, actually, these were put on when I was at the lake this last week, of course. Yeah. And then we had one pound of patty put on each one as these excluders went on, as directed by myself. Maybe we didn't have to, but I wanted to. So just like that hive I inspected this morning in the single box, covered five frames, one, two, three, four, five, up to maybe six. All right, same as in here, except now, instead of working further out before they work up, these girls are going to work straight up because they can't work out. So they're going right up into the honey box. And that's what's going to, you know, help me out with my timing with all of that. I'm going to get them up into that honey box a lot sooner. That's what's left of a pound of patty. Boy, these just look better when they're in smaller spaces. I mean, look at this. It's just absolutely night and day. I'm looking down into a full box, right? Covering all the seams, corner to corner, working away, less house to keep. Looking into a single box, it's not as... You know, the smaller colony just doesn't look as good. There, whew, there she is. Hard at work. This frame is right full of fresh larvae. Like right full, this frame is shining, you can't see that. It smells so good. The side's full of eggs.
sheets are brewed. So basically the same thing I was looking at. Look at that, just beautiful. Just heavy full brood. Nectar in there. So basically the same thing I was looking at this morning. It's just they're working up into that second box already. Not storing honey into the second box, but they're making their home. They've come up, they started cleaning. They'll be bringing that nectar in and they'll be taking it straight up. Here, let's take a peek beside there. Roll the brew. That is heavy. And emerging. Eggs, 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 all the way around the outside. So it looks like as soon as the brood is emerging, they are following up with nectar, but she is pushing it as much as she can. So that's going to be, so this nectar is being pushed out and they're going to be pushing it up. trade-offs right so I'm gonna be getting a little bit more honey off these units actually it's gonna work really well because it's gonna keep a lot of this canola honey out of the brood box and be able to harvest more of that honey capitalize on it but when I compare these later on in the fall to the single boxes I'm going to see a lot better winter cluster and just a little bit more. They'll be a little bit well defined, more resource within that box unit itself. These ones, because they've been confined, maybe not as big a winter cluster. We'll see. They'll look big, all the same, being in sixes. More space, bigger cluster, less space, more honey crop. So. We want. Let's see what some of these other ones look like here. I mean, when I see bees working up to the top of the frames like this, side to side, corner to corner, on a flow, I'm thinking here comes a box a week. They might not quite be there yet, but if we get through an emergence down there, get more bees in these boxes, I'll be pulling off um, two more for sure. Should have them all in sixes. More on that side, not as many bees up top here. What a sexy looking yard. I wonder what my BC bees look like. I'll check them tomorrow. One of my main production yards. There's a few stacked in fives. Stacked in five only if warranted. Up to the top. Let's take a peek down into one here. Boy, it's a busy yard. The 
see what's in here. It's gonna work swiftly because I don't have any smoke with me. Money in the bank. Working right to the tops. Well, I won't be pulling honey, you know, within the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be a little bit later than that. But I have, I have nectar right to the top. And honey in that third. Oh boy, maybe I will be pulling honey in two weeks. Money in the bank. It needs a box. It either needs a box or it needs to be pulled in roughly 10 days. Right to the top. The box full of honey. That is not ready to pull, but it is full of honey and is being cured. Now, 10 days is going to be a long time for that. It's nice that I've been away for a week because I can see a contrast they can see a difference in these colonies and I have to plan here now I don't want to get too far ahead of myself like I box them right up that's probably what they need but if I overbox them like if I stack them all in fours like this well they'll fill them but it's going to take a little bit longer to fill up to the top where if I keep them a little bit tight, I can start pulling honey a little sooner, right? So it's just that balance between giving them more than enough space to alleviate swarming, but not too much space that it kind of pushes the honey flow back or the honey pull back by a week or so. So I'm counting, what am I counting? I was just counting just about 1,500 colonies. That's 1,460 or I, I'll have to do another count. So that's going to put me into three groups because um, I can handle 500 hives a week. So the first 500 I'm going to keep a little tighter in threes. I guess I'll see. I'll try to keep them a little bit tighter. Boy, I don't know. And then I can pull them sooner and then slap them a whole bunch of empty boxes to fill right up again. And then the next week, those next 500, I'm gonna give an extra box. So they all will all be in fours like this. So four honey boxes will be on that second pull. And, and then the nukes, and everything else on that third week. One, two, three, four, five, six, even six and some of them that are just gonna be a little bit later. A 
when to start, when to start.